Nancy, I am so excited to be able to connect with you today and share your story with all my viewers. Uh, I had the privilege and blessing of working with you earlier this year and uh, I, the first thing I want to say is welcome and thank you so much for being willing to share your story. Thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> the first question I have for you is can you share with me a little bit about uh, what your life was like, what you were going through before you decided to, to work with me? Having been, um, you know, coming from two failed marriages and numerous, numerous failed relationships, I've never really felt like I had an issue based on the fact that I didn't have an issue in finding um, men to date, mm -hmm. but I came to realize, Fern, that I had a serious, serious problem in picking the right person for me. Mm -hmm. So I stayed in bad, terrible relationships longer than I should have. Mm -hmm. I um, went through situations where I would forgive unforgivable acts based on the fact that men were saying, I'm sorry and I love you, but mm -hmm. really never came to the table and showed me that love, but just spoke it. And to me, at that time, there was a huge confusion in my head between saying I love you and really showing you acts of love. Mm -hmm. I actually came across, um, you know, at that time, I believe it was a friend of mine that recommended me to look at some of your work on YouTube. And I was very, very impressed. I just felt like an immediate connection of the things you were saying and the things that me, uh, probably amongst hundreds and millions of women feel every day. And mm -hmm. um, I guess sometimes like we're too embarrassed or we're not, or we're, maybe we're ashamed or thinking that, um, you know, I shouldn't feel that way. But really in reality, that's how we feel. We feel unvalued and demeaned and, and maybe not love, but then we do stay in those relationships every day just for the fact of saying we're in a relationship. So what made me take this, you know, make this decision? Um, was being, I was in a relationship at the time that you and I started, but I was very, very lonely. And I, you asked me a question, I remember on the first trial, um, you know, um, well, the first you know, hour, our session yeah. that we had to see if we, we were going to work together or not. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. You asked me one question and it really impacted me. You asked me, um, so is this guy good or is he good enough? And I'm, I'm, I'm translating this because I know that we spoke in Spanish and I, it made me really think like he's just my good enough. Hmm. It was like good enough to bandage that that feeling of me not not wanting to be alone. Uh -huh. But in reality, I was alone. I was very lonely, very alone, um, taking calls every three, four days, um, you know, of a of him calling and saying, I love you and I miss you, but yet a month would go by and there would be like no initiation of any kind of contact or spending time together. So I knew at that time that I really needed to, to, to really work on myself and really understand what the true meaning of love really okay. was. So I decided to, to take the, to be brave and to take the, this program with you. Sure, and when we you decided to start this, what would you say after when, once you went through it, what would you say are the biggest breakthroughs you experienced in your own life as a result of stepping into the work? Because it's not, I mean, one of the things that I tell women when we start is this is not easy at all. If it were easy, everybody would have it, but, but it's doable, right? So what would you say were the breakthroughs that you experienced as a result of doing this? I think the biggest breakthrough for me was the ability to really recognize that I have the ability to say no. Huh. that it's okay to not please everybody and it's okay to please myself. It's okay to set boundaries and it's okay to have a high expectation of what it is that I'm looking for in a partner in my life. And one of the things that I really, really learned from working with you was to really have like a single focus and really, really pinpoint the three main things that I was really, really looking and desiring to have in my partner. Mm -hmm. And that's what I did. And it became to the point where I just focused on that and nothing, I would, I would let like nothing deter me from those three most important things that I knew that I needed, you know, to, to, for a partner to, to bring to the table to me. <laughs> So when you ended up connecting uh, with Luis, I mean, he, he I mean, you know, he uh, first connected. Uh, t tell me more about the story. Once you met him, what, what took place? 
Yeah, so um, one of the decisions I made was to go and try online dating for the first time, which I, again, that was something that I was like so scared of doing and, you know, and just thought that I would never do. I did it. I, again, I made a decision. I became brave and I stuck to it. And during that process, I was, again, very single focused on those three attributes that I needed in my partner. And after... <laughs> Um, many, many, you know, people online. Yeah. I, I was very, very attracted to to Luis. Why? Because he really, really brought those three things to the table. So what are the three things he's bringing to the table? He's bringing more than that, but what are the three things that you were fo most focused on? Um, love based on actions, friendship, which mm -hmm. is very, very important to me, and respect. Totally, totally. Whether, I mean, we are two independent and totally individual people, but to be able to respect each other's individuality and to be able to come together and um, and become one in such an organic and simple way. And, you know, I mean, this guy enjoys the same things that I do. It, it's just so simple and organic. I don't have to impress him. He doesn't have to impress me. He's funny, we laugh at nothing and everything. We'll have um, deep conversations and we can disagree and it's okay, it's okay. Just knowing that you have a person next to you that really, really admires the way you process life mm -hmm. and the way you see life, it's just an amazing turning point in my life. It really is. You shared something with me that I think is very beautiful. You shared that at the beginning he, he wouldn't say I love you because he wasn't yet feeling it. He was feeling it, he was like, tell me more about that. I mean, I know that in English it's hard because love, yes. I mean, querer and amar are different things, but like, he, he, like, it's like, I like you very much is what he said to you at the beginning, right? Yes, yes, and for me that was a little bit scary mm -hmm. because I'm sure that I'm amongst the hundreds of millions of women <laughs> that we hear I love you and we just like, we want to give everything, our money, our cars, our dogs, everything, right? For a guy that just says, I love you, but never really shows up to really show you what that really means. So I think before I, I met Luis, I can absolutely tell you that I really didn't know the true meaning of love. I thought it was, I love you, and that was like enough for me. Um, yeah, this guy showed up and said, I like you. I like you a lot. And he said it for months and months, and I was like, Oh my God, like when is this guy really gonna say I love you? And when, you know what I've realized is love is an everyday development. Love is, love grows deeper every day with actions, with sharing, with getting to know that person, getting to know that person's vulnerability and um, really admiring who that person is on the outside and on the inside and, and how, how your life is transformed with just being part of their lives and being able to make them a better man and him make me a better woman. So yeah, it, it came to the point where one day he says, you know what, um, I, I love you. So that was very, very special. Even though before that, I already was feeling that love. It was just like an unspoken word. So I, I think that I have more value for the word and, and the meaning of what love is mm -hmm. at this point in my life, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think uh, is, and then, I mean, then it happened, right? You got, and then this is what I think is so beautiful. And you were sharing with me, I mean, you got married. You both decided to get married and you did it differently than you would have normally done it. And I mean, you didn't invite thousands of people. Tell me more about the wedding. <laughs> Absolutely. So, so um, I decided to move in with him, um, you know, and that for me was like a big step because in the past I was just so moved by what people are going to say, what is my family going to think, oh my god, that's like we don't do that in my culture, oh my god, I'm a nice Catholic girl, like we don't do that. So this time I decided to really go by the experience and my intuition and not really what people are going to say yeah. and what society is going to label me as because at the end of the day it's my life, you know, and and I, I decided to listen more to, to my inner inner intuition and what I was feeling. So we moved in and a month later, he pretty much showed up with this. <laughs> and that's my ring. Uh... <laughs> Absolutely. So um, it's really, really cool because again, like the ring that he chose for us is like three rings in one. And again, they signify what we both believe in, which is love, loyalty and respect but he's changed it a little bit more around he says it's love respect and sex <laughs> it's okay it's well, okay he's a man <laughs> he is a man 
But um, yeah, we got married on September 30th, totally in an unconventional way. We decided to pretty much um, go into a small town that's adjacent to Dallas. We made it, um, we, we, we pretty much walked into the, the, you know, the, the courthouse and got married and, and had a fabulous day together. And that day, I literally FaceTimed my two daughters and my mother and told them, you know what? We got married, we're very happy. They were very happy for us. And I was very surprised. I, I was um, a little bit scared at the beginning, thinking like, oh my God, what are they gonna think? Like, this is so unlike me. I mean, usually I'm very planned and you know, I, I, I don't do things like this. No, absolutely. You, you know, I think that when you're happy, people really feel that. I think everything changes about your attitude, about the way you project yourself, the way you're living life and experiencing it. My daughters were like beyond happy, my mother beyond happy, and I can just tell you that it's been one of the best decisions that I've made in my life. So I'm just like very, very like gracious to have met you and taken your program and to have been brave enough to do that mm -hmm. and to not feel like I don't need any help, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I'm just fine. You know? <laughs> you know, at the beginning when we would speak, you would ask me questions that were very, very difficult for me. And yeah. my ego was like, no, I'm fine. No, the reality was I wasn't fine. You know, and I was just um, in a place of denial and pretty much scared, you know, yeah. scared of really admitting, admitting the truth. I would say to really to really look inside and really really dig deep and, and 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 make a decision and say like why 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 not why not it is an investment it is an investment but you know what I thought to myself buying an expensive purse is an investment also buying a new car is an investment and is it really fulfilling me is that really what's making me happy and making me whole and I knew exactly what I needed to be whole. And I knew that all the purses and the cars in the world were not gonna make me happy. And so I decided to be honest and truthful to myself and say, you know what, this amount of money, yeah, was it hard? Was it, was it hard to give it up? Yes, it was, but it was for me. It was an investment for me. And I knew at that time that if I didn't make that investment on myself, then who was, you know? So I, I would say to all the women out there to just be, to believe that love is out there, that there is that perfect person out there. And it's really not that hard when you really have, when you really know in your heart and in your mind and you can make that decision and say, this is what I'm looking for. And this is what my value is. And this is what it's gonna take for that guy to meet me. And guess what? I think that one of the biggest things that I learned in working with you is that a change in my attitude totally made a difference in, in my destiny. Yeah, I totally changed my attitude and the way I was thinking about things. Well, thank you, Nancy, so much for everything, for doing the work, for being courageous, for sharing your story, and for stepping into the kind of life that you've always dreamed of, and now it's happening every single day. You get to wake up with this man who adores you and who is so happy to, to share his life with you. Thank you, thank you so much for being here. Yes, thank you very much for everything. <laughs> wow.